So, Confusion of Princes is my favorite book from my favorite author, Garth Nix. Let me tell you a little about it. So, first of all, the main character, Camry, he's black. So, really the cover should look something a little more like this. It always bothered me that the cover doesn't represent, like, the character accurately. Like, it brings to mind a whole different subject on, like, publisher whitewashing and crap like that, but, uh, we'll just move on. Anyway, the story is about Kemri, a prince of the Empire, essentially a superhuman genetically modified person that has been trained from birth to be amazing and take up the mantle of the Emperor, the leader of their country. And these princes are supposed to be amazing, like, timeless and immortal, and they kind of are, but it's misleading. This is demonstrated to Camry in like TV shows and cartoons that he's been watching since he was born. That all of these princes competing to become the next emperor is like some really like honorable, very polite thing that's done always very tastefully and very respectfully. But as soon as he graduates from his quote unquote childhood school, he learns the truth. So Camry is introduced to his entourage, his staff that protects him throughout his adventures. And he meets his master of assassins, Haddad, which is seen as basically like the first mate and assistant, the most important of his staff. And Master Haddad is basically a total badass. Um, from the beginning it's clear that he's far more experienced than he should be, and it was a very rare situation to get someone this good as your master assassin. But almost as soon as they leave the temple where Kemri grew up and they meet officially, someone tries to assassinate Kemri. They throw a small gray box at him which explodes at his feet. He's only narrowly saved by his master of assassins, Dad, showing Kemri essentially what the real reality of the prince's fighting to become emperor is. Anyway, I really like this book for a few reasons. Uh, one of the biggest is just that it's got a really a lot of interesting systems and mechanics of the world that makes it like, every time I read it, I just think, God, this would be such an extravagantly fun game to play, which is convenient because for a time it was a game to play called Imperial Galaxy. However, it wasn't popular enough and it, it got shut down, <laughs> sadly. I consider it like a smarter, more complicated version of Ender's Game. Like it's set in an alternate universe and it's a space opera, so there's a lot to learn on basically every page. That's one thing I really like about Garth Nick books is that every single time he starts a book, it's just a clean build. You start with nothing and it grows into something like obscenely detailed and extravagant and it really builds a sense of growth and interest because you're learning so much about the world at the same time as the character it's very addictive and interesting how these worlds play out also as a royal prince um camry's seen as better than the, the common populace and a, a significant part of the book is just dealing with his indoctrinated racism, which is a lot to take in, I know, but figure it I'd just rip that band-aid off. It's it's really interesting, I think it's really well written, and I just really enjoyed it. Not not it being racist, just the process. <laughs> because at a book level, the, the book and the character arc of Camry is really about accepting that the education you grew up with might not be accurate, and more importantly, that there's more important things in life than war, control, and power, and that if you just take the time and look at the roses, you'll end up much happier. Anyway, I really like a lot of Garth Nix's books, especially of Horson and Sabriel. Uh, I might do a book club on this later, uh, we'll see. Make sure and like and subscribe if you want to see it. Thank you.